Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd, and today's episode is City of the Damned. Well, let's get into this. So we've got a big double page spread. We appear to be on Hill Street. Uh, the judge in the foreground that looks mighty fucked up is uh, Renko. And uh, let's see. Hey, some sucker want to donate blood. Okay. Sorry. Hey, some sucker want to donate some blood. Then you take a walk down Hell Street to the boys in blue are looking to put the bite on you. The Hell Street Blues. And, of course, we've got the victim there screaming. Ah! And we've got Belker, and I can't read that one, and obviously not that one. Okay, ah, uh, well, that doesn't look good, does it? Mega City 1, 2120. Drock. Judges Dredd and Anderson have emerged from the time capsule Proteus 13 years into their future. This is the future. They can keep it. Can we go home now? There's no time for jokes, Anderson. Who says I'm joking? That's Renee Renquist. What a prize for best 10 out block a year ago. You mean 14 years ago. If you want to be technical... Sure wouldn't win any prizes now. Strange, this doesn't look like war damage. More like decay. The side of vision telepath senses pick up ming pick up images from the moldering stone. Right, this mess it wasn't caused by bombs. There's a presence here. Malevolent evil, intelligence, pervading everything, twisting things. Judge death? Negative. The power of this thing makes death and his goons feel like raw rookies. Can you focus on it, Anderson? I can't get through nothing clear, just this crazy image. Like a spider, a human spider spinning its web spilling his venom out on the city. Afraid that's the best I can... Quiet, listen. For a sign of life. You, Citizen Hall. Duck, but balloons! You ain't drinking my blood, you ghouls! <coughs> He's running. The bites. Vroom. Oh no, they're gonna catch me and suck me dry! I can't let it happen! And the sign there says, Danger Acid Pool. I'm gonna die clean, you L Street Blues! <sighs> Crazy, he died clean, alright. Crazy is right. He thought we were gonna drink his blood. And did he call us Hell Street Blues? Hell Street. Hill Street. There's a sector house on Hill Street. At least there was. Let's check it out. If nothing else, their records might tell us what happened here. When you lived on Hill Street, you knew you were taking a chance. Mostly, bl mostly the blue-skinned devils left you alone to scratch out your pitiful existence, eating moss from the walls. Yum, yum. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff. Uh, Wimey's is the name of maybe a bar. It's a sign on the wall that says meals and good something. 
Uh, something Canny Joe's maybe bar, hot dog, and of course the sign does say Hell Street, not Hill Street now. And bugs when you could find them. Oh yum, moss and bugs. What a tasty diet. They left you to grow more like an animal with every passing day. Still, at least you were alive, if you could call it living. The, and the blue-skinned devils left you alone. Except sometimes there was a shortage. Sometimes the Hell Street Blues came looking for you. Me? But, but, but why? Shortage of peps. We need new blood. No blood. But please not me. Thank my wife, my kids. We already have. And once they got you inside the sector house, you never came out alive. Look, you don't, don't want me. I'm too skinny. I'm just a bag of bones. You, you want someone fat and juicy. I know where to find one like that. Did you just leave me go? Please leave me go. Shut up. Ah! Truck vampires. Next program, the kiss of death. Well, I hope you'll join us again next time for some exciting vampire action. Till then, thanks for watching.